So it's been over three years since the conclusion of the 2020 NBA playoffs, and many people have their own strong opinions on the legitimacy or illegitimacy of that NBA season. Unless you've been living under a rock, you all know how this season unfolded. The 2019-2020 regular season was proceeding the same general way as any other year. That is, until the whole world basically shut down because of the virus panic. Due to this, the NBA regular season got shut down in early March, and the action didn't resume until August 1st. Obviously, this was going to have an unavoidable effect on the season, as teams with momentum suddenly had that halted, while teams who were slumping had some time to recuperate and figure out their struggles. Some benefited from the rest, while others felt the effects of the rust. Now when the season resumed, it happened specifically at the Disney Resort in Orlando, Florida. This was since deemed as the Orlando Bubble. There was almost no audience in attendance as the players were completely isolated from the outside world, and only select few family members were allowed to come to the bubble and support their players. To say that that postseason had some weird and shocking developments would be a massive understatement. Certain players, like Paul George, found themselves slumping so intensely that they earned new negative nicknames because of it. In the first round of the playoffs, the Jazz blew a 3-1 lead to the Denver Nuggets. And then, in the second round, the LA Clippers also blew a 3-1 lead to the Nuggets. Eventually, the Los Angeles Lakers eliminated the Nuggets in the conference finals, and they went on to meet the Miami Heat, who were a fifth seed who had eliminated the first and third seed on their way through the East. As you all know, the Lakers went on to dominate the Heat, winning the championship convincingly in just five games. Based on how this postseason was structured, it was obviously going to be a topic of debate for many years to come. But especially because it was LeBron James and the Lakers who won the championship, this topic was going to be extra polarizing for basketball circles. Now here's the interesting part. I actually made a video over three years ago called If the NBA Season Resumes. And in that video, I actually gave my thoughts on the significance of the NBA season resuming prior to the season actually resuming in the Orlando bubble. This was probably the most unbiased point I could have given my opinion, since we didn't know who was going to win the championship yet. Take a listen to this clip from that video, which was posted on May 31st, 2020. To it. Because the reality is, we may end up getting a different champion than we would have had if the NBA had never been shut down. So with all of this being said, does this mean we should slap an asterisk on this season? No! No! The first reason why we shouldn't put an asterisk on it is incredibly simple. Why do we even bother restarting the 2020 season if we're already deeming it as illegitimate before it even resumes? We're bringing the players and teams back with the intent of having the playoffs and crowning a champion. If we've already decided that there will be an asterisk on the champion, well then all that preparation and anticipation will all have been in vain. And if that's the case, then I personally have no interest in resuming the NBA season. It has to mean something for me to care. The other reason why we shouldn't put an asterisk on it is because everyone is having to deal with this. This isn't a circumstance where someone is intentionally and inappropriately being put at a competitive disadvantage. There isn't dark, manipulative puppeteering going on behind the scenes, and there isn't sketchy and questionable actions taking place that make me question the integrity of the competition. This was simply an issue outside of basketball that's now affected the game of basketball and everyone within it. This is a trial, and everyone has to persevere through it, and honestly, some are going to be better at that than others. Some guys are using this time to let themselves go, or trying to do things like build up their Twitch following. And then you have those who remain focused, and are finding ways to keep working on their game, and even preparing themselves mentally. We would never know definitively, but truthfully, the 2020 NBA champion could have been decided during quarantine. No matter how the rest of the season plays out, there will be those who act negatively and try to put an asterisk on it. Let's use the biggest name in the game right now as an example, LeBron James. If the Lakers win the championship, haters will say it's because quarantine gave a 35-year-old LeBron time to rest which was the advantage he needed. If the Lakers are eliminated by say the Clippers or Bucks, biased LeBron fans will say that he only lost because his momentum was ruined by the pandemic. There is literally no outcome at this point where people won't make excuses and try to invalidate this season. 
Calling this season illegitimate is based on a narrative that can easily be spun in the other direction. Some may say that because of how this virus has influenced aspects of the league, this year's championship will be seen as less significant. But I could argue otherwise. In a year where we've had to push through so much pain with the loss of Kobe Bryant and David Stern, in a season that's become so unique, where players' mentality and conditioning will be challenged in ways that we've never seen before, and with the season resuming at a time when people around the world are starving for competition and the return of this amazing game, you could say that this is the most significant, crucial, and meaningful championship the league has ever seen. So assuming the NBA returns, let's agree ahead of time that we won't be putting an asterisk on this season. So now that we've watched that clip with my opinions before the season resumed, do I still feel the same way over three years later? Well, I do for the most part. I do think it's hilarious that I equated the 2020 championship to potentially being the most important championship ever. It clearly was not, simply based on the fact that hardly anyone even watched it. The 2020 NBA Finals had the lowest TV ratings of any final series in recorded history. So from that standpoint, it couldn't have meant a whole lot to that many people. With that being said, I stand by my original point, that as a competitor, you can't make excuses for your losses when everyone basically had the same circumstances to deal with and you knew what those circumstances were and how to prepare for them. I understand that some advantages and disadvantages of the Orlando bubble would scale to different levels for the various teams involved. But that's also true for just about any NBA season. Now one factor that was massive that I didn't mention in that 2020 video is that home court advantage was deemed worthless because of the Orlando bubble. The entire point of the regular season is to qualify for the playoffs and find out which teams will have home court advantage and which teams will not. With all of the 2020 playoff games being played in one central location, with no audience in attendance, the playoff seating was essentially worthless, which also invalidated much of the regular season qualifying as a result. Teams like the LA Clippers blew a 3-1 lead to the Nuggets, but the thing is, if the playoffs had played out like any other season, then they would have had home court advantage in games 5 and 7. So do they still lose those games if they were properly rewarded for their playoff seeding? Well, it's impossible to say because we'll simply never know. The thing is, it's hard to invalidate the championship victory for the Lakers specifically because Los Angeles actually was a first seed heading into the playoffs. So if anything, they actually won the championship despite the fact that they didn't have the advantage that they had properly earned. So just to clarify, I've made a video in the past about the top five playoff series with an asterisk if we hypothetically had put an asterisk on numerous series throughout history. And in that scenario, I did pick 2020 as one of my top choices. Personally though, if I'm being completely honest, I only think one specific series in NBA history deserves an asterisk with absolute certainty, and that is the 2002 Western Conference Finals between the Kings and Lakers, where the referees were clearly skewing Game 6 in favor of Los Angeles. Although there was clearly aspects that affected the developments of the 2020 playoffs, at the end of the day, the losers have no one to blame other than themselves. This was the stance that I had before the 2020 season resumed, and this is the stance I have today now that three years have passed. I'm certainly not going to act like winning the bubble championship was the greatest achievement in basketball history like some LeBron worshippers do, but I'm also not going to completely dismiss it when it was a genuinely competitive postseason without any nefarious influences from the referees that we know of. So what do you guys think? Do you believe the 2020 championship deserves an asterisk? And did you feel that same way in 2020 before the games resumed? I look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for watching as always. Make sure to like and subscribe for more basketball content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.